Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas football back here at the 2023 Texas State 7-on-7 seven -seven Championships. Here with the head coach of the Pflugerville Weiss Wolves, Coach Vernon Hughes, after a 1-0 start to the day with a 31-13 win over Odessa. Coach, appreciate you chatting with us between games. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. All right, Coach, uh, first of all, uh, you know, it's hot out here. Uh, you know, it's, it's it, we're on grass, thankfully. We're not on the turf, so we're a little cooler, but it's hot. Um, what are you doing to your kid, with your kids? What did you talk to them about this week as far as hydrating and, and staying, staying healthy in this heat? Absolutely. Um, my main thing was just to make sure that the kids came in and wanted to compete hard. Um, we have a few kids missing. We have kids on visits. We have some kids at some other places right now. But the most important thing was that we came in and we competed against some of the top kids in the state. Um, I think it was super important that we made sure that our kids hydrated um, we made sure that we didn't take it you know too hard on the kids um, especially this last day of a uh, strength and conditioning camp but um, the kids came in they've been working extremely hard they're super excited um, especially with this being the first time in school history that um, that we qualify for the state tournament I mean it's huge man the excitement around the community and around this place has been been awesome all right now you've been to a few state seven on seven tournaments as an assistant coach so you know kind of how the drill works and everything uh, as, and, and I'm sure that what you want to see from your kids as an offensive coordinator is a lot of the same as a head coach. What do you want to see out of your kids today? Obviously, you're a competitive guy. You want to you want to go undefeated and get a top spot in your pool and move on to the championship bracket tomorrow. But it, just as far as the intangibles, what do you want to see from your guys today? Um, more more specifically, um, I wanted to see the kids make sure that they work our stuff. Um, you know, whenever you get into 707, you get a lot of guys, you know, trying to do some 707 plays, running 707 defenses. Um, I think it's extremely important that we run – and we do what we do, um, do what we're going to do on a Friday night um, from an offensive and a defensive standpoint, um, you know, to make sure that my kids compete and make sure that my kids execute. Um, you know, right now we actually can get in some situations to where, you know, we need to get a third down and we have to go for two and we have to, you know, put our kids in these kind of situations to where can they fight through these kind of adversity. Um, and it's hard to do that in practice. So now we can actually get here, get these kids in these kind of situations and actually see them compete and try to put them uh, sales in, in position to be successful. Um, from a defensive standpoint, you know, we're trying to see will some guys step up uh, with some guys that are missing and actually make plays. Uh, we're trying to see will some of these bubble guys, you know, be on the varsity team. Uh, we're trying to see are some of these guys that, that we know can be a player, will they step up and become the dude that we know that they can be. Um, but I think it's important for us to get in, do what we do, put them in a situation to run our stuff and, um, and see can we be successful. All right, now looking ahead at 2023, um, you know, your first head coaching job, um, you know, so you're your new head coach, but you were at Weiss, so, you know, yeah. transition was pretty easy, I'm sure, as far as the transition for the kids goes. But for you and, and, and your first head coaching job, how, how has it been? And, and, and as far as just – taking everything in. I know Coach Van Meter prepped you well for it, but I, I, you know, have you, has any, uh, ha, is there anything that maybe you were like, man, I wish I would have knew that before I took this job, just for far as just thing, things to learn and things to do? Um, I think regardless um, of how much that you feel like you're prepared for a job, you never know until you're actually in that position. Um, a lot of old coaches say that, right? Ne never know how it is until you're in the big chair, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And so, um, and I, I absolutely thought I was ready for this job, and I know that I was. Um, and then actually getting in this spot, I'm like, man, you know, I'm busy, but like I'm way more busy than I thought I was going to be. Um, and so, you know, for me, I especially wanted to make sure that the kids knew that I was going to be visible, that I'm always around, uh, but also pour into these kids even more so from being a coordinator to a head coach. You know, you want the kids to know, hey, I'm always going to be here for you. If you need me, I'm there. But also just trying to do all the, the other logistical things to where, hey, I probably wasn't doing this before. Mm -hmm. Now I got to make sure that I plan and be uh, properly prepared for other spots as well. Um, You're the campus coordinator, right? I'm the, yeah, well, the boys coordinator. Yeah, the boys and so, right. yeah, so I'm taking care of everything on the other side and having the other, you know, head coaches for other uh, spots as well. So um, it's been busy. It's been a busy summer, I'll tell you that as yeah, well. Yeah. All so right. Now looking ahead to the fall in 2023, obviously, um, tough district, tough region, yeah, a lot of good teams uh, for you guys to, to you know, obviously your by district matchup is a really good district, District 11 6A. Yes, sir. You guys played DeSoto tough in the first round of the playoffs. I know that that's no, you're not into moral victories and that kind of thing, but when you when you look at what you guys face in a possible playoff run, if you take care of business in the regular season and, and, and to make that deep playoff one, what do the Weiss, Weiss Wolves need to do in order to become a, a team that plays after Thanksgiving? Uh, besides staying healthy, mm -hmm. um, I would say for sure we got to we gotta play really good defense. Um, I think we have the, the bullets on offense to go in and, um, and, and put ourselves in position to be successful every game. 
Um, and I think that if we can be solid enough on defense to give ourselves a chance, I think we can, we got a chance to be pretty good. Um, yeah, we're in a tough district. We're in a tough region. Um, we're in a tough by district as anyone else in the state. Um, but I think if we can get better, we got some young guys to, that have to step in. Um, if those guys can continue to progress and get better every single week, um, I think that we have a really good chance to be successful this year. Coach, I appreciate your time. Enjoy watching your kids compete today, and uh, good luck in 2023. All right, thank you, man.